with that, I'm honored to pass things over to Dr. Lang, who's going to share some thoughts from her perspective as an esteemed pediatrician for us here in Rhode Island. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Beth Lang, and I'm a pediatrician at Waterman Pediatrics Coastal Medical Lifespan. I'm the past president of the Rhode Island chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics and the current president of the Rhode Island Medical Society. For the last 20 months, the pandem COVID pandemic has disrupted normal life for everyone. Rhode Island's children and family have been real troopers, adapting to hybrid learning and new rules for recess and eating lunch in school, staying in pods, and wearing masks wherever they go. I have to say I am so proud of all of our state's children for what they've been able to accomplish in the last 18 months. Our children have been phenomenally resilient, and they've taught us a lot. But none of this has been fun, and all the mitigating measures have been necessary to keep everybody protected from getting sick from COVID-19, which is a miserable illness for many children and a very serious, even life-threatening illness for some children. Since March 2020, over 20,000 Rhode Island children have been infected with COVID, which is almost 17% of all Rhode Island infections, and nearly 300 of these children have been hospitalized. Now Rhode Islanders have a safe, scientifically proven way to prevent COVID infection. The COVID vaccine is our best hope for ending this pandemic and returning to the normal daily life we all crave. Pediatricians and family physicians recommend the COVID vaccine to all, co to all eligible children. Right now, that recommendation includes children ages 12 to 18. But once the FDA delivers their decision, we look forward to vaccinating children ages 5 to 11 as well. The Pfizer vaccine has undergone rigorous va vaccine trials and scientific review as thorough and as precise as all the other standard pediatric vaccines. Rhode Island's pediatricians and family physicians are partnering with the Department of Health and the Governor's Office and the school nurse teachers to deliver this vaccine to our patients in the medical home. Certainly, parents have many questions, and for my pediatric colleagues out there, we've been talking to parents every single day about this pandemic and about the vaccine. I encourage all parents, please continue those conversations. This is a personal and intimate decision for your family, and your medical provider is happy to partner with you and answer all the questions in a scientifically based way. While we're vaccinating children ages 5 to 18, and this is very, very good news, we must also realize that our work is not done. Children and babies less than the age of 5 still cannot be vaccinated. So it is incumbent on all of us to get vaccinated to protect them as well. And if someone can't get vaccinated, please continue wearing a mask indoors and in crowded spaces. This is now a pandemic of the unvaccinated, so it is our responsibility to protect everyone's health and to protect the health of Rhode Island's children. Representing children's pediatricians and the state's family physicians, we are equal partners with you on this journey to keep children healthy. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Director.